Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the new Gemini line of playing cards from Requiem and Stockholm 17. All right, so what are the Gemini decks? Uh, originally, this was a Kickstarter release. It was released as three decks, uh, I think maybe even fourth. I don't know if the fourth one got printed, but there was a fourth one uh, in speculation. Uh, uh, Lorenzo, the brain behind this, uh, you can visit his website and learn more about him at stockholm17.com. He had this out on Kickstarter, it was successful Fully funded, and these are the decks. All right, so why the name Gemini? Uh, the choice of the name for Gemini is based uh, mostly off the court card. So if you look at the, the jacks and the queens and the kings, and here I'll show them to you uh, a little closer. Uh, at first glance, the figures of each card, they look perfectly symmetrical, but they're not. Gemini, of course, means twin, uh, and it's an astrological symbol. It's also a horoscope. Uh, Gemini is Latin, okay? Uh, and so if you look at the court cards, you'll notice they're not identical. There's small differences between uh, one side and the other. And one side, their eyes are closed, and the other side, their eyes are open. Uh, and so that, along with the symbol, uh, the symbol for Gemini is the reason uh, behind the name. The Gemini decks of cards were released in uh, three colors, three different versions. Uh, and there's the Sienna back, that's called Terra. It's a yellowish tuck box, has embossing, which is copper, gold foil, and it's all done on thick black paper. There's also the red back deck. This is called Ignis. Uh, its tuck box has red and gold foil embossing on thick black paper. And then there's the blue or the black tuck case. Uh, this is Noctis and it's embossed with silver, or kind of like a silver aqua foil, and a black foil. And you'll notice that this one is also numbered. So this, out of the three, uh, this was the only deck that came in uh, a numbered deck. The other thing you'll notice about these tuck boxes is there's no ink on the tuck boxes. Uh, all the color is comprised only of embossing and the two hot foils. Uh, there's the outer foil that has the color that denotes the you know which box you have. There's also an inner foil uh, on the inside liner as well. The tuck box design features uh, all of this beautiful handmade calligraphy. Uh, this was all done by a gentleman named Carco O'Brien from England. And uh, the Latin that you see on the tuck is uh, lifted from a very ancient Roman text that was written about astrology and the zodiac symbols. Of course, each tuck box says Gemini across the front and has the astrological symbol for Gemini on the back. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come printed from the Expert Playing Card Company on casino grade paper with classic finish. They also have a linen finish embossing, which makes them wonderful decks for both magic, flourishing, and gameplay. The back design, of course, is that big, beautiful image of the zodiac symbol. You'll also notice that the uh, poker border is super thin, micro thin, really super thin poker uh, borders. You can only get that, uh, that beautiful registry from uh, Expert Playing Card Company and the Taiwan Printing Company. The other interesting thing about the back design is it is a one-way back design. It's not hard to find. Uh, you do have to look a little closely, uh, but I think a careful examination and you'll, you'll see it. With this deck, you're also gonna get three original jokers. Uh, one of them is the symbol for Gemini, and then the other two are kind of like depictions of what Gemini means uh, in that it's two faces. Now, between the three decks, okay, between uh, Terra and Ignis and Noctis, for the most part, they're all gonna be completely the same as far as what's depicted. Uh, there are some differences in the Noctis deck in the black and blue version. Uh, the colorings will um, be more blue. So you'll notice that in the Jokers, the Aces, and in the court cards, you'll see some of that blue coloring come out. Also with this deck, you're gonna get two extra cards. One of them is the Gemini star uh, constellation that's up in the sky. And then the second one is a two-way uh, gaff card that's great for tricks like Bwave. Your ace of spades is not an ace of spades. It's actually the ax of spades because all four aces in this deck are actually different versions of an ax. And so that is a, a really cool thing that Lorenzo put in. Uh, the ax of spades says Gemini playing cards across the top, has a Gemini symbol there in the center, and then uh, it has a bunch of Latin all around. And then this is of course the ax of spades at the bottom and then stock home 17. All the court cards in this deck have a classical 
medieval feeling. And the figures that are on the court cards, they all interestingly and artistically interact with the pip that's next to them. You'll see that some of them are holding them uh, and doing just other weird things with them. And it really makes uh, the pip not a separate entity, but actually makes it a part of the illustration. Now, the pips and indice cards, meaning the numbers that are two through 10, uh, they're super big and they take up a lot of space. I think Lorenzo used a very unconventional index, which is horizontal instead of vertical, uh, but it makes the cards very playable and very easy to read. All right, because Lorenzo ran a very honest and extremely well-funded campaign, of course, there's also extras. Uh, some of the backers got these extras, okay? The first of which is this card guard. Uh, it's all metal and it's the Gemini uh, symbol, of course. And then it has some twisted vine work on the front and then it has some Latin words on the back. You'll notice that it also has two little drilled holes in it. That makes it perfect that you could use it as a keychain or a necklace, but for the most part, uh, at the poker table, you lay it on your cards to keep other players from touching them. The other thing uh, that was released for all the backers was this beautiful pin. It's got the Gemini symbol there on the front and it's all well made and done in these beautiful and striking colors. And then lastly, there's the Axe of Spades drink coaster. I've never seen a drink coaster uh, done from a campaign, but it's a really cool idea. Does the Gemini playing card Stockholm 17 across the front and it's made to look like your Axe of Spades. All right, so that is my review of the Gemini cards from Stockholm 17. And like I said, if you wanna learn more about them or see where they're sold, please visit stockholm17.com. I wanna thank Lorenzo for letting me have these decks so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase them for yourself, please visit stockholm17.com. Thanks, bye.